Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel, hope you're all doing really well. I know, I know it's been a while since I've uploaded a video, but I thought this would be like the perfect comeback video. I will give you guys a live update and everything once I get back to the UK, but as you can see I am currently not in the UK, I'm actually in my hometown of Trinidad and Tobago. Landed here last night, we got a BA flight from Gatwick which stopped in St Lucia, and then we got here quite late last night. I was so so shattered guys, I woke up at like 5.40 a.m. this morning. So that's pretty much the last 12 to 24 hours traveling. Um, but it's so, so nice to be home. If you guys don't know, some of you might, some of you might not, but I was actually born in Trinidad and Tobago and I moved to the UK when I was about nine or 10. Um, so I'm home for the first time in probably about six years, which is actually quite frightening. Um, and it's so, so nice to be back. I'm currently staying at the Hilton Hotel and I'm here for two nights. Basically, I'll take you guys along this week with me. I'm only here for a week. I'm kind of moving around the island, doing different things. Um, so this morning, the time is, what time is it? The time is 7.44. So as I mentioned, I did wake up at like 5.40 this morning. I'm five hours behind. So I'm like wide awake at 5.40 a.m. So this morning I had some breakfast with my brother. So on the trip with me is the usual clan that's in like all of my videos. If you guys are familiar with my videos, you would know my brother, his girlfriend, my husband, and then my mum and my stepdad are also on this trip. Um, and also really exciting to say that my dad actually lives in Trinidad. So I've not seen him since our wedding in 2019. So I'm so excited to see him as well on this trip, as well as some other family members like my nan. Um, so yeah. A lot going on. I'm so excited. You can probably hear my voice. Um, if you can even hear my voice amongst like the cars driving past, the birds chirping, and I, I want to say some miscellaneous animals that I don't really, really know what I'm hearing. Like it sounds like rattlesnakes almost. Um, but yeah. I'll show you guys my view because it is just absolutely stunning and it's not even like an amazing view like the room faces kind of like mainly trees but the view is just gorgeous. I apologize now my camera keeps steaming up um, but unfortunately there's nothing I can do about that unless there is and then let me know down below. So glad to be back in front of the camera. I'm so excited to be on yet another holiday and yeah so much going on but i will catch you guys all up if not in this video enjoy the the trinidad tobago video if you're looking to come here i highly recommend it's such a stunning country um but if you're looking for a bit of a life update why have i been mia for so long then give me a couple of weeks to film that because i'll do like a sit down maybe i'll do a mukbang because like i haven't done a mukbang before or something to catch you guys all up why i've been so quiet for so long we are my brother's actually just text asking if we want to go to the zoo so maybe we just go to the zoo kill some time this morning because as i mentioned it's really really early my mum and my stepdad have been here a week before us so they're really tired which is absolutely fair enough um so we're not going to wake them up we're just gonna we hired our own car as well so we're just gonna explore the island this morning we actually headed to the beach as well today one of the most popular beaches in trinidad um and yeah i'm so excited hope you guys enjoy this video So here is the view from the balcony. As I mentioned, it's not really much to see, but it is still gorgeous nevertheless. And the sounds like, the sounds are just absolutely stunning. You can see the mountains in the back. There's a main road over there, so you can probably see a few cars as well. And I don't know what that sound is. It sounds like monkeys, but I don't know if it's monkeys or if it's birds, um, but yeah. This is my view from the room. The view from the sky bar at this hotel is absolutely unreal, so I'll show you guys what that looks like as well. So here is the view from the sky lounge bar. So, so stunning. And the actual bar itself. Um, but the views are just insane. So pretty. Yeah. 
also just some more hotel spaces so yeah just showing you guys around the hotel a little bit obsessed with like these western lights uh, so this is the sunset deck slash sky deck um and the views are just phenomenal how pretty is this Three sixty views of Port of Spain, which is the capital of Trinidad, and we're the only ones here. <laughs> I don't know where everyone is. I think I've just found the cutest little mini bottle of apple juice, and it's glass. It feels so premium, but it's so cute, and it's literally the size of an apple. Yep, the little things in life. We've got an awake Craig. <laughs> <laughs> Any who's, we're about to go to the zoo, just waiting for everyone to meet us here and yes, it is hot. It's hot. The only annoying thing is we have to wear masks while we're walking around the zoo and yeah, it's so See. steep so I'm out of breath oh look who we just oh. found oh, oh. sorry Craig they look sad they look sad <laughs> he <laughs> looks so sad whoa yawn it's beautiful so cute. Oh. Oh, <laughs> also, we've stopped to hopefully try and get a coconut from one of these vendors, um, coconut water vendors. It might be a bit early though. We're worried it's a bit early because everywhere seems to be shut. The time is like 10 a.m. on a Monday. Is there going to be coconut vendors out? Let's see. Oh. Views are stunning though. But, and we've got coconuts. Well, it's on in this hour because in a couple of minutes we'll be opening up the lines for Castro, all right? You know how we do it. So safe. <laughs> so let's get back to the music. We're sticking at all. We'll make sure till 12. We have somebody on the line right now. Hello? Huh? <laughs> ah! Oh. <laughs> Three, two, one. Nice. <laughs> okay, treat number two is snow cones, and we literally got him as he arrived, so he's just setting up now. And we're gonna get a snow cone. So we have here a snow cone, which is ice syrup condensed milk. Literally tastes a dream. So sweet, so nice. Definitely tastes like it's a hell of a lot of calories. Verdict? Pretty nice. You wanna make it? Three hours later.
arrived at the lookout um, right before we get to the beach, which is down there. And <laughs> Craig's pretending to be a YouTuber. Um, Ooh. But yeah, I want to go check out all the sweets they've got selling over there, local sweets. <laughs> okay guys, got the goods. Show you guys what I got. Guys. Yes. We have got mango, chow, uh, not mango, pineapple chow, yes. one with spicy pepper and one without. Here's the one, had, oh that's the one with spice, that one's Philly and Ash. And then I got some old school red mangoes, so this is sweet red mango. And then I also got red mango but a different recipe and it's like the it's, it's like yeah it's like super soggy um and really really sweet version of this basically so yeah that is some old school trini snacks that i remember eating back in the day So we've just come out of the water, which was super duper rough, but so much fun. Felt like an absolute workout, just swimming. I probably look at a complete state. Wasn't planning to wet my hair, it's fully... No! Oh. Just dropped my sunnies. Wasn't planning to wet my hair, but it is fully wet right now. Um, but yeah, it's bacon shark time. We've got the famous Damn. Richard... <laughs> Okay, oh, I actually fell. Goodness. I'm just trying to say we've got the famous Richard's Bacon Shark. Um, if you know, you know. But that is currently the queue to get it. Um, and yeah, you literally cannot come to Maracas Beach. So, what did I get on top of my Bacon Shark? We have a bit of tomato sauce. We have some Shadow Benny, I think it's called. Which is the green sauce. Got some garlic sauce. Got some... Uh, cabbage salad y items and some pineapple. So that is my Richard's bacon chuck. Literally. How it how is how is it guys? Stunning. <laughs> it's stunning and we got some chips as well because let's face it, we're Brits. <laughs> okay. Yes. Just had the prettiest sunset. We're on the roof. <laughs> We're on the roof having a drink and watching the sunset. How nice is that lighting? Oh, I'm obsessed. The next day. Good morning, guys. So today we have just checked out of the Hilton. Our car is literally like filled with all of our luggage we are heading to we're going to do a few errandy bits first like buy ice and stuff because we're heading to toko which is like a beach town i want to say on the north coast but i'm not 100 percent sure if that's right so don't kill me if it isn't um but this morning we got some starbucks because starbucks is life and anywhere any place if there's a starbucks i'll be in there very very happy girl this morning and yeah that's pretty much what else did we do oh we went to linda's bakery which is like quite a popular bakery here in trinidad um and then 
picked up all my nostalgic like childhood baked goods which was absolutely amazing and there's like two huge bags of like baked goods in the bag um so the drive should be roughly two hours long and then i'll show you guys where we're staying we're staying at this like beach villa type thing not really sure but yeah that is pretty much how we're going last night we ended up going to a restaurant and um, met my dad and like had a really good meal so we're gonna go meet him now and he's gonna head to toko with us so yeah everyone say hello what's well, really really good <laughs> quick pit stop at this lookout point so that's all of port of spain over there Stop. I've got a long journey ahead so yeah so after a very very long drive literally about two hours we have arrived at our accommodation in Toko and first impression is this place is so beautiful we've just walked towards the beach which is behind that gate um, so we need to is it locked? Okay, yeah. Um, but it's literally on our doorstep. How stunning. Um, and that's the house that we're staying in, the yellow one over there. Um, I think it's like multiple villas, so I think we'll, we'll have like one side. And the pool, really, really cute. Surrounded by these coconut trees. The pool looks so clean. Like, I just want to jump in the pool. It looks so good and i think we're the only ones here so we're gonna have the time of our lives this is definitely the dream right now i'm literally living my bestest bestest life trying not to get my hair too wet because it got absolutely drenched yesterday at the beach um I'm trying to think did I, i'm pretty sure i did vlog a bit at the beach yesterday but my hair like the waves were so rough that my hair literally within one minute of being in the beach it was like soaked um so it took me a while to wash below dry my hair and my hair extensions and i really don't want to have to do that again tonight so try to keep it calm in the pool today the pool water is lovely and yeah so this is gonna be me for the next few hours i'll catch you guys later it's 9 p.m and we're gonna go find some turtles it's pretty late yeah and say hi to taylor a few moments later And this is the only time we allow to tag them as well when we see the target, oh. only when they're quiet and they're not moving around. The next day. Good morning, guys. My hair looks jacked up. Oh. Um, but yeah, it doesn't matter <laughs> because the Caribbean frizz just doesn't care. It doesn't care about me or my hair. The hair, my hair on this trip has been absolutely wild. Um, but we move, we keep it moving. Uh, we are actually leaving this villa today. It's been such a great three days. Having the beach on our doorstep, having the pool on our doorstep, it's been so, so good. Um, so if anyone's looking for a place to stay, this place is called Thomas on the Beach. I'll leave all the info in my description. Super duper chilled. Um, as you guys saw, not yesterday, the day before, the night before we did turtle watching, um, at Grand Riviera, which is one of the only beaches in the world that leatherback turtles lay their eggs 
which is a fun fact for you today. Um, so we're actually gonna leave here shortly. The time is about 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Um, and we're gonna head to literally. Um, sorry about that, guys. The camera battery died. But anyways, we're in the top right hand side of the island. We are gonna travel all the way down to literally the south where my nan lives, and it's probably gonna take us around three to like four hours, I wanna say. Um, but let's see. We're leaving pretty early. As I mentioned, the time is around 8, 8.30 in the morning and I feel like I have no concept of time on this trip. Barely been on my phone. The Wi-Fi here wasn't that great actually. Um, it actually was quite bad, the Wi-Fi here. It would come and go like really sporadically. Um, but yeah, we are gonna head out. Hopefully we don't end up losing a full day to traveling, hence why we're leaving super duper early. But so far this trip has been so amazing. We've got so much done. I feel like, I feel like compared to Grenada, we managed to do loads of like fun stuff which was great i.e leatherback turtle tour going to maracas like actually leaving places to go places and also being able to drive out here which i never drive on trips but thankfully the car the wheel is on the same side of the road they drive on the same side of the road as in the uk the only thing that's different is the indicators to turn right and left so yeah there's a quick update um i'll check in at some point and hopefully we have a nice scenic route so stunning um yeah i'm just being blinded by the sun at the minute so i should probably move it's 8 a.m and yeah i'm just enjoying the final full day in trinidad and i'm gonna take a dip in the pool we're gonna go get some doubles i'll show you guys what doubles is because it's like a trini kind of doughy Type, like a roti but more of like a breakfasty thing um it's a huge rave in trinidad so if you haven't tried doubles or if you're going to trinidad you have to try doubles we're gonna go find some this morning um so we're at the clifton hill manor hotel and yeah we're doing the last two nights here and so far it's been absolutely amazing so this is the first time i'm checking in after yesterday because we had a massive delay because we lost the proximity key to our rental car so i think it took us like five hours to get to my nan's after we left the villa and yeah i was just too tired yesterday five hours of driving i was just absolutely knackered so i didn't bother vlogging um but today's our last full day as i mentioned and yeah we're just gonna have a super duper chilled one um i took my hair extensions out which i'll probably put back in a bit later but i desperately need to wash my hair so yeah um but yeah here is my view about to jump in that pool over there hopefully it's not going to be absolutely freezing but even if it is maybe that will be a nice wake up call but we're going to leave here in like 30 minutes to go find some breakfast and yeah i hope you guys are enjoying the vlog so far this is the last day not sure how much i'm going to film but here we go <music> Have the Trini doubles 
finally got my hands on two this morning. Honestly, it looks weird, but it's like the yummiest thing you'll ever eat. So it's filled with. So the filling is chana, and I think there's also some mango chutney in there. And you literally like squeeze it together and eat it like a wrap. 